In this video we will tell the story of one of the most notorious serial killers in Bangladeshi. Crime History The Bangladeshi serial killer, Urshad Ali Sikdar, the Bangladeshi Frankenstein, is one of the deadliest serial killer of Bangladesh. The merciless Urshad Ali was born in 1954. He was the symbol of fear and terror in Kulan city of Bangladesh. He is believed to have participated in the killing of about 60 innocent people, from which about 50 cases were filed for lack of evidence at the disposal of the police. He was the worst serial killer in the country's crime history. The Bangladeshi serial killer was also well connected with the country's politicians. Urshad Ali Sikdar was born in a poor working class family. As per the Bangladeshi court records, he accumulated wealth first, by using his power and force. Later on he used his wealth to set up connections with the well-known politicians, to use the political influence. For this he joined a political party of military ruler, and successfully become the member of the Kulna City Corporate Council in the late 1980. Urshad Ali Sikdar had control over the people of southwestern band of Bangladesh, especially the people of Kulna. He was known for his brutality in the region. Urshad was not only a serial killer, he was also a rapist. He had married six women, and also raped dozens of women. During his criminal career, he used his political connections to terrorize the people. When the government of military ruler party end, and the Nationalist Party of Bangladesh, become the ruling party, Urshad Ali Sikdar, immediately joined the ruling party, in 1990. Urshad Ali Sikdar, switched the party again, and joined the next ruling party, the Awami League, when it came to power a few years later. He was the hot favorite of the major political elite, because he maintained a considerable private force, equipped with illegal weapons. His bad days started when, he killed one of the political leader of Awami League. His political mentors refused to cover him in this murder case. He killed the political leader. Khalid Hossein, after five years in the party. He killed Khalid Hossein mercilessly in 1999, over a dispute of bidding, in the Department of Roads and Highways of Kulna. His personal bodyguards explained the details of his murders, in the court. The bodyguards told the court that he was killing, ruthlessly, anybody, anywhere, who come against his interest. The Merciless Urshad Ali used to cut into pieces almost all the victims' bodies, and dumped on the Barab River with weights attached to them. Out of the total 60 victims, he remembered killing of 24 people, which he killed personally. This notorious criminal was used by the politicians whenever they needed. In order to run his criminal syndicate, he used to pay a good amount of money regularly to many police officials of Kulna. He was sentenced to death by the Bangladesh High Court. His appeal against the death penalty was rejected, and was hanged to death. In, 2004, at Kulna Prison, the execution of the crime lord brings to an end his 20 years reign of terror in the southwestern city of Kulna, 136 kilometers from the capital, Dhaka. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel for more crime investigation reports and serial killers documentaries. Thank you for watching this video.